So today I'm going to talk about porcine stress syndrome. I grew up in the beef industry, so when I got into the show side of things, I heard about pigs being stress carriers. I knew cattle didn't have that, so I was interested in this topic. So what is PSS? It's a rapid internal body temperature increase or malignant hyperthermia, not to be confused with hypothermia. Hyperthermia is a fatal um, increase in body temperature, and malignant means fatal. So they extreme, exhibit extreme nervousness and excitability. They create pale, soft, or PS, and exudative, or PSC meat um, upon slaughter. They have back muscle necrosis, meaning that the cells in their back muscle die. They exhibit red and blotchy skin, and the most common effect is sudden death. So testing for PSS can be detected detected around seven weeks old using the halothane test. So halothane is an anesthetic and it induces the symptoms of the stress gene. And it is an autosomal recessive gene, but it can show symptoms even though if a pig is just a carrier and not just autosomal recessive. Mm -hmm. So using the PCR or poly, poly, polymerase chain reaction, researchers at the University of Toronto were able to detect the mutant PSS gene so even though this is expensive and it's highly useful, on a commercial level, it's not reasonable for every animal. So what triggers PSS? The environment is a, the main thing that triggers PSS, um, being transported to a new location, overcrowding, sudden movement, vaccinations, breeding, and hot weather. Iowa State did a study that showed that 15% of PSS pigs died during transportation. So what can be done to prevent this? So treatment for PSS for pigs that are carriers, but not as a more recessive, our adequate ventilation to decrease temperatures, cool water drips again to regulate body temperature. This one I found was especially interesting was to withhold feed 12 hours before transportation. Um, my guess, I couldn't find more information surrounding that, but my guess was so that pigs are more focused on being hungry or more worn out than they are worried about being transported. Um, also to not transport them in temperatures exceeding 72 degrees and to definitely avoid mixing animals during transportation to decrease fighting or in extreme cases, cases pinto, pinto barbitone anesthesia to calm them down. So for pigs that are autosomal recessive, really the only treatment is to genetically breed the mutation out. Um, if you do have, for like show pig reasons, um, you can do an intravenous injection of jetrolene sodium, which is a muscle relaxant. So what happens when PSS is triggered? So following muscle activity, the muscle metabolism changes from aerobic to anaerobic, causing biochemical abnormalities within the muscle, which that is an influx of uh, calcium deposited in the muscles. So aerobic, aerobic metabolism requires oxygen, anaerobic does not require oxygen. So then the muscles then collect acidity and the internal body temperatures rise to 107 degrees. Because of that change, the muscles build up in lactic acid, which causes that um, to body temperature to rise. So that causes muscle tremors, face twitching, rapid breathing, and then that skin irritation and death occurs within 15 to 20 minutes. And the big thing with PSS, a big um, notable thing to notice that it, if a pig is P did die of PSS, is rigor mortis within five minutes. Mm -hmm. So the pig actually stiffens up within five minutes, which is really fast and is not good for the meat. So going into how it affects meat, so the increase in temperature decreases the pH, and the decrease in pH then causes a buildup of lacti lactic acid and a must down of those, breakdown of those muscle fibers. And lactic acid and the breakdown of muscle fibers combined causes a pale, soft, and exudative meat. So pale is the white looking, or this picture. This is the PSE meat, and this is normal. So the PSE meat is pale and white looking in color with the poor water holding capacity, which is the soft part. So you would think that soft would mean it was tender, but in reality, <laughs> soft means that it has a poor water binding, water holding capacity, so that the muscles the fibers don't bind to water, so when you cook the meat, it just cooks the water right out and actually makes it like a brick after you cooked it. And then the exudative, you can tell in the picture down here, is it has extra fluid in the packaging after it's been mm -hmm. processed. That's a good comparison side by side. Yeah. Yeah. So then Iowa State did a study that showed that 95% of PSS pigs produced PSE, or pale soft and exudative meat. So common breeds for PSS are the Petrine, Land raised in Poland, China, which I thought it was interesting to find that the Poland, China was actually originated in Ohio <laughs> and not Poland or China. But then these, even though they are found in these breeds, um, PSS pigs uh, produce extreme leanness and extreme muscling, 
which is desired in the show industry. So Texas A&M did a study that found that half the class winners and breed champion barrows from the 2000 to 2002 San Antonio Livestock Expo and Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo had the stress gene, which makes it hard to really um, breed the trait out of the population. So mm -hmm. it's not a huge problem as it once was, but it is still present and relevant in the show stock industry. Mm -hmm. Hmm. So then there are my because they're selecting those good-looking animals, and then they're selecting them then also for PSS. It, it comes along with it. Yes. Yes. Exactly.